Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 133. That is, what is automation testing? Let me answer. Testing performed by automation testing tools on behalf of a tester is known as automation testing. To understand this automation testing in a better way, let's compare manual testing with automation testing. In case of manual testing, the software tester will be performing the testing, okay? A real person, a human being will be performing the testing without using any automation testing tools. That's what is called as manual testing. But coming to automation testing, here automation tool will be performing the testing on behalf of a tester. That is called as automation testing. But how can an automation tool perform testing? Can automation tool perform testing by itself? Not possible, guys. Without the help of software tester, automation tool cannot perform testing. Behind this automation testing tool, there will be a software tester who will be writing the automation code, who will be developing or writing the automation code. After this software tester writes, develops this automation code, this automation code will be passed to the automation testing tool. And automation testing tool will run this automation code developed by the software tester in order to perform automation testing. Okay, in order to perform testing, automation uh, testing tool will run the code developed by the software tester. This is how the software tester is required, okay, for an automation testing tool. Automation testing tool cannot work by itself, okay? Behind this, we need a software tester who need to write the automation code and automation tool will use this automation code to perform software testing, that is automation testing. Let me give a small demo of this, uh, how automation testing is performed, okay, using automation tools and how the software uh, tester will uh, develop the code and all. Let me give a small demo. So here we have this Visual Studio ID and uh, inside this is an ID guys. It is an editor kind of thing. Like we have Notepad, Notepad++ plus plus or whatever, Wordpad or whatever it is, right? Where we can write something, right? Similarly, we have an advanced editor like Visual Studio ID. So only one one of the example guys, okay? We have, if you're, if you're working on different things, uh, we have other IDs like uh, Eclipse, IntelliJ, many, many platforms are there, okay? Many types of IDs are there. In whatever the example I'm trying to give you, I'm using the Visual Studio ID. So inside this Visual Studio ID, I have written some code, okay? Using this editor, I have written some code in Selenium C Sharp, okay? For this example, I am writing Selenium C Sharp. You can write in Selenium Java, Selenium Python, and so on. But here in this example, I have written the Selenium automation code using C Sharp programming. And this automation code is written by me as a software tester. Without software tester, this code cannot be developed, right? I have to write the code. After I write the code, what I will do? I have to pass this automation code to the Selenium automation tool. But where is the Selenium automation tool? Selenium automation tool is configured with this Visual Studio ID only, okay? So in this Visual Studio ID, I configured the, I don't have to show you practically here, but uh, this Visual Studio ID is now configured with Selenium automation tool. So my code will be run by that Selenium automation tool, okay? So how to run? So here, I'll select this. After writing, after passing the code to the Selenium automation code, we can write like this, okay? We can run like this. The or a Selenium automation tool will run this code. And you will see when I run the Selenium automation code here, you will see that the script will be running. Just see, the script will be running. It will open the Chrome browser in a while. Automatically, guys, I'm running the script here. So let's see whether the script is running or not. Yeah, it's running, guys. The script is running. Let's wait for some more time. So you see it started. You see automatically the Chrome browser got launched. It got maximized. It has browsed the application. Okay, so, so you see, I didn't do anything here. I didn't open the browser and all, okay. All the things are done by the automation tool only. As you can see here, these are three lines of code I have written. Uh, though you don't know what is Selenium automation at this point of time, uh, you may or may not know, but uh, just see here what's happening is this particular statement is opening the Chrome browser. This statement is maximizing the Chrome browser. All the instructions are written by me in the programming, in a programmatical way. And this particular statement is uh, browsing the application URL in the open browser, okay? So like this, I have to give the instructions using some, uh, I have to write some instructions in the form of code. And this code need to be passed to the Selenium automation tool, which is configured in this ID. And when I run the, this particular code using Selenium automation code, which is for, uh, configured in the Selenium, uh, this Selenium, uh, uh, this Visual Studio ID, then my script is running like this. Automatically, the browser is opening and this is what is called as automation testing, okay? This is what is called as automation testing. Here, 
automation tool is performing the testing i am not performing the operations automatically the automation testing tool is based on the instructions or automation code written by the software testers automation testing tool is opening the browser maximizing the browser opening browsing the application url and many other instructions can be given and this is how the automation testing will be performed by the automation testing uh, testing tool on behalf of a tester and this is called as automation testing okay so hope guys you got the answer for what is automation testing in this session that's all for this session uh, in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye